So in this lovely episode of, I don't know, insane ramblings, we're going to talk about irrational fear. But before we do, uh, it's just a little update to my previous one, Pain. I went to the doctor's uh, a while ago, like a week ago, and I'm on some pills now. They took a blood test today. And I'm on these pills, and it's it's helping. <clears throat> Not pain-free, but the pain is lowered, which is good. So, moving on to irrational fear. Now, fear, in most cases, is always irrational. <clears throat> so... I'm going to talk about it. Why not? So my irrational fear came up today. It was needles because I had a blood test. So I have this huge, huge phobia of needles. Now, I, I can be around them. I could touch them. I could pick them up. I could run in a daisy field with it if I so pleased. But if it goes in to somebody or an animal, or especially me, I creep the fuck out completely. Now, it's it's easier if somebody else is getting a needle, obviously. Then I, I get a bit watery-eyed and I'm just like, oh, no, can't watch it in most cases. But my blood test... <sighs> Goddamn, okay, so... Well, I go in, and I'm in the waiting room, and I'm like, oh God, oh God, oh God. So I'm just uh, sat there, they call me up, I'm going in, and at that point, my, you know, my legs start to shaking, because I know what's happening, I know what's coming, and I'm not looking completely forward to it. So there, there's two chairs in there, they do two at a time. Which which is interesting. Saves time, I suppose. So, <clears throat> I sit down. The nurses are like, hey, how you doing? Are you alright? I'm like, no, no. She's like, well, what's wrong, what's wrong? I have this huge needle problem. She's like, right, okay, no problem. So, I sit down. I take my jacket off. Just got my t-shirt and all that. And, you know, I'm sat down. My legs start to shake at that point, even worse. So that both legs are shaking. I know what's coming. Uh, She's prepping my left arm. You know how it is. They put that little strap on. I forgot what it's called. And they go for the elbow crease. I have no idea what that's called either. So I'm, I'm sat there. I'm a bit shaky right now. I'm like, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. So I, I look away, completely look away. After a bit of rubbing the elbow or crease or whatever it is, she's like, right, you're going to feel a little pinch. I look out the window, I'm like, don't tell me, just don't tell me. She's like, okay. So then it goes in, I can feel it. It hurt. Uh, little did I know, because I said don't tell me, she didn't actually have a vein and she was going in to my crease, elbow, crease, into my, I would just say elbow, she went into my elbow to find the vein, because the vein wasn't coming to it, because it sinks, because I'm terrified, so I didn't know that, so she's pushing the needle further and further in, it's getting quite painful at this point, I'm just, ah, ah. I, I never usually, uh, what's the word, um, well, I never scream out in pain usually, but I was just like, ah, Jesus! And she's like, all right, all right, all right. And she pulls it out. No blood was drawn. And then she tells me that she couldn't find a vein. And I'm like, thinking in my head, well, shouldn't you have found one first? I mean, oh, you don't just stick it in and start rummaging around. Down. Oh, oh, it hurts so bad. It really did. And then, of course, I'm like, oh, fuck, oh, fuck. Because this happens quite a lot because my veins sink. And they they can't find the veins, obviously. So the doctors usually take multiple uh, goes at it, which you know frightens me even more. It scares the living shit out of me. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> needless to say, uh, needle, needless. 
when she was rummaging around, I started getting teary eyed. My nose starts running. I'm like, <sighs> no tears, but watery eyes, runny nose, shaky legs. And then she moves on to the right arm. She's like, right, we're going to do a different needle this time. We're going to try the butterfly needle, which is smaller, well, thinner, and uh, it doesn't hurt as much. They use it on children, apparently. So I'm a child. So they move over to the right arm. <clears throat> and she was there for a good five minutes trying to massage the skin to get a vein. I'm just there, terrified, shaking still, sniffly nose, watery eyes. The nurses are, you know, giving me small talk. And it, <clears throat> the anticipation is just killing me. I'm just like, oh, God, no, 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 please. So then they get the other, the senior nurse in. And then they're like, right, well, your right arm's pretty much dead to us. So they move Back to the left arm, and I'm going, oh, for fuck's sake, no, no, no. So they stick the, uh, sorry, they stick the, oh, what is it called? They tighten your arm. I know it's got a special name, and I think I know it, but I'm not going to say it in case I sound retarded. But I guess I sound retarded for not knowing it. Well, I do know it. Anyway, <clears throat> so they move on to the left arm again. At this point, I'm, I'm completely freaked out. The nurse is like, hold my hand. And I, I didn't let go of that son of a bitch. I did not let go. Nope. Mm -mm -mm. No. no uh, uh, uh. My right hand was hooked to both our hands, which interfered with her job. Oh, but I wasn't letting go. <clears throat> so I'm there. Senior nurse comes in. She's like, mm, yes, 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 yes. Okay. So she starts... Fondling around, and then she gets she gets the vein. Then I'm like, oh no, look away again. I'm holding on to the nurse's hands, just like, oh, you ain't going anywhere. And then, thankfully, it, they were right about that needle. It didn't hurt as much. And I know for future reference now that I should ask for them. Uh, and it worked. But <coughs> because I was holding the nurse's hands with one of my hands uh, she was the one that was supposed to be giving the blood vials so she's like oh you gotta let go of me so I let go of one hand I keep hold of one I keep hold of another you know how it is <clears throat> and he took three vials three vials <clears throat> what is up with my throat and then that was it they did the little what is this stuck some cotton wool and some I don't even know, some tape, whatever it is. I'm allergic to sticky stuff as well. So a, a bit of my skin has fallen off because of that. But they press on it as well to stop the blood flow. And because of her rummaging the first time, it hurt like a bitch. And, you know, I'm completely honest. There I am, watery-eyed, sniffly nose, shaky legs. Shaky legs for quite a while after I got out as well. It took so much out of me. Like, it really did. I, I got home after doing some more stuff. I, I promised my sister I'd walk the dog, so I got to see them, which was, which was good. Apart from he shit on his ball, he, he dropped his toy, and then he did that little dog circle that they do, and then he crapped on his toy. Ugh. So I had to do all that, and then I had a few meeting things that I had to go, well, home visits. That had to happen. So I, I had to stay awake for them. But I was completely drained. It was about... Phew, like 10 to 1. And I, I had to stay up till 3 in the afternoon. And I was just... I was drained. I never experienced, like, fear that much. And it sucks. Because it is irrational fear. But it's sucks so much. I also have a second irrational fear, which, if you follow my gaming channel, is video game water. I, I can survive in most video game water. It's just if I know that there's something 
in the water, like Crisis and Half-Life. I could happily swim around in... What could I swim around in? What what game's got a Duke Nukem? That that didn't have any big monsters in there, so that that was fine. I also have a fear as well. This one is completely, completely irrational. But if I'm in a giant swimming pool alone, I feel so freaked out. Like there's gonna be a shark in the water and it's gonna get me. In a swimming pool. It's like, what? It's what? It really freaks me out. <clears throat> so those are like my three. I have three. Do you have any? If so, tell me so I don't feel so alone. I'm interested. It could be something quite severe that you're afraid of or something completely... Well... Something like me, needles, they, they shouldn't really be afraid of them. So something that can be, you know, feared, but also something that is quite irrational to be scared of. Let me know. And uh, i got to go back soon and get my blood test results. Ooh. That's exciting. I'm also going away soon as well. So that's even more exciting. And do you know what's even more exciting than that? I got a laptop today. Do you know what's even more exciting than that? I bought a flip camera. Do you know what's even more exciting for that than that even? I got the wide-angle lens for it. Because I like wide-angle shots. Insert jokes about wide-angle lenses. I hate it when you can only see like a small portion. But I'm going to be videoing when I'm away for a week. Uh, I'm going on a theme park run, which is not good for my back. But thankfully, thanks to the doctors, which I didn't tell them about, I now have pills, pills to help me. I, I am the classic person that should not be on rides because, one, I have a pacemaker. So pretty much every ride is usually propelled by magnets, isn't it? Or, or not all, and I've got a bad back. But fuck those rules. I've been on many a rides. And usually I don't have problems with my back on the rides because you're so well restrained that you don't really move. But they're just safeguarding their ass. But thanks for listening. If you have an irrational fear, because most fear is irrational, drop me a, a comment or something. But until the next time when I say that I'm leaving, and then after that I'll have like a little video of my endeavors while I'm away. I will see you then, but until then, my friends, live long and prosper. Although, uh, don't live too long, because then you get bored. I mean, you should die around 80, I think. That's a, that's a good age. Live to 80, then die. <laughs>